Hey, I wanted to make a short video about my crazy mustache, like how to tame my crazy mustache. And I've mentioned this in a couple of videos before, but I wanted to talk about two specific things that I've learned about crazy mustaches. And you can see mine today is okay. My hairs tend to grow kind of like in this shape, so they're always growing down towards the middle of my mouth. That gives you a lot of crazy hairs. In order to get your, your mustache to be super, super shaped, it takes a lot of wax. I don't like to use a lot of wax. And I don't even, for me personally, I don't like the super styled mustaches either. So the first thing is for long term, okay? I've used this got to be, just picked up this uh, molding paste. It's for like a hair gel. It's like a heavy duty hair gel at like a, a drugstore. And at night, I'll put this in my mustache and I will try to train the hairs in a part and I'll just, basically I'll just paste the mustache down. And I've shown that in a couple of my other videos, but it, it's not a big deal. You rub it in, I usually take it, put some on my fingers, and then I'll apply it by pushing it up into my mustache like this, okay? Until it's all in there and then I'll take a little comb or something. This is a bigger Kent comb, but you can use this or something smaller. And I'll just go straight to the sides with it, okay? And basically just glue it down. And that's to help train my hairs not to grow in, in toward the middle as they, as they grow. Now, the second thing I just learned recently, and I was watching some of, I, I'm, I'm gonna butcher his name, Jeff Buono Cristiano. I love his mustache. I think his, his mustache is the coolest one I've ever seen. I hope that my mustache will end up looking something like his does. Um, but anyway, what he said was, and this turned me on to this just the last couple of days actually, is he puts wax in it and then he puts oil on it. I thought that was weird, but lately I've had a hard time trying to style my mustache with just wax. And when I put the oil on it, it seemed to soften the hairs a little bit and they're, they're behaving better. Now, in addition to that, I will blow dry it with one of these type of, of brushes, these round brushes. So I'll blow dry it as I turn it out like this. Okay, and I'll blow dry it out like that. And you can already see that it gives a really good shape, okay. And I'll do the other side, boom, 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 boom. And I'll put a little wax in there and I'll, and I'll use that general shape right there. Um, and, and then I'll put a little oil on there and I'll just kind of splay out the ends. Jeff, Jeff talks about splaying out the ends and I, I, I really like how he does that. I just, I like the way it looks. It doesn't look, to me it doesn't look overdone. It, it looks more natural, but you can tell that you spent some time on it. Now he talks a lot about making it super even, and I am i don't care as much about that. I'm sure that if I had no beard, it would be more prominent, like more obvious that it's not even. Um, but for me, I, it's not a big deal. All right guys, so I'm gonna recap real quick. The three things that I've learned about taming a wild mustache or taming wild mustache hairs. Number one is to try and train those hairs with like hair paste or uh, what do they call this, molding paste. Uh, at night you can put that in before you go to sleep. Number two, you can use wax and then a little bit of oil and it softens your mustache. Now that's for a more natural look, but that works really well, so I, I use that. And number three is you can use a, a round brush like this and blow dry your mustache dry um, and you can get some good shape out of it that way. So those are the three things that, I, that I've learned recently about how to shape my mustache, how to get it to be uh, freaking awesome. Uh, those are the three things that I've learned uh, having a crazy, kind of a thick, crazy mustache, those are the three things I've learned to try and shape my mustache into looking uh, as good as it can look. And I love it. I love having my big mustache and, and when my hairs behave, <laughs> not very often, but when they behave, it looks so cool, man, I love it. 
those are a couple of tips for taming a crazy mustache, a couple of tips for growing a, a big mustache, training the hair and styling it um, however you like. Uh, some people, if you like styling it a lot, same thing applies. You just use more wax on the ends to get your curl. You can use more wax in the middle to, to do what you want there. Hope you enjoy this video. I hope it helps. And if it does, let me know. And if it doesn't, let me know. I'm curious. Thanks for watching my video. Please like this and subscribe. And uh, I'll try and have more content out soon. Thanks.